Ecclesiastes chapter 10. Dead flies cause the oil of the perfumer to send forth an evil odour. So doth a little folly outweigh wisdom and honour. A wise man's heart is to his right hand side, but a fool's heart is to his left hand side. Yea, also, when the fool walketh by the way, his understanding heart faileth him, and he saith to every one that he is a fool. If the spirit of the ruler rise up against thee, leave not thy place, for healing allayeth great sins. There is an evil which I have seen under the sun, as it were an error which proceedeth from the ruler. Folly is set in great dignity, and the rich sit in a low place. I have seen servants upon horses, and princes walking like servants upon the earth. He that diggeth a pit shall fall into it, and whoso breaketh through a wall, a serpent shall bite him. Whoso heweth out stones shall be hurt therewith. And he that cleaveth wood is endangered thereby. If the iron be blunt, and one do not whet the edge, then with strong chops he must strengthen up, but wisdom is profitable to direct. If the serpent bite before it is charmed, then is there no advantage in the charmer. The words of a wise man's mouth are gracious, but the lips of a fool will swallow up himself. The beginning of the words of his mouth is foolishness, and the end of his talk is mischievous madness. A fool also multiplieth words, yet man knoweth not what shall be, and that which shall be after him, who can tell him? The labour of fools wearieth every one of them, for he knoweth not how to go to the city. Woe to thee, O land, when thy king is a child, and thy princes eat in the morning. Happy art thou, O land, when thy king is the son of nobles, and thy princes eat in due season for strength and not for drunkenness. By slothfulness the roof sinketh in, and through idleness of the hands the house leaketh. A feast is made for laughter, and wine maketh glad the life, and money answereth all things. Revile not the king, no, not in thy thought, and revile not the rich in thy bedchamber. For a bird of the skies shall carry the voice, and that which hath wings shall tell the matter.